Let me quickly show you what we are doing today. And what we're doing today is actually inspired by an illustrator here in Ghana called Elkana. And uh, this is the image that we are going to try to replicate. And uh, I just want to figure out the lighting together with you guys, okay? So I feel like because of his drawing and the backdrop, I'm thinking because of the curtains that this area is probably like a large window and it has a white sheer curtain um, over there, you know, blocking the lights, making it soft, whatever. So what I'm gonna do is actually use my 60 centimeter softbox to replicate that large window. And I'll use my backdrop stand and hang some fabric, you know, and then just drape it to look like a curtain. And for the lighting, I feel like the softbox will cast its own rim light on the image, but I feel like I have to add a top light, um, something from the top, let me just get rid of this. So from the top over here, so that it can cast like some hard light down onto our subject. And then also in the room, I will just bounce one light just to, you know, soften the shadows and then just make it look like, you know, the room is well lit, that kind of thing. So that is pretty much the setup. Um, I'm gonna transform <laughs> all these things that we have over here, like build a set, a fake bed, you know, just prop the whole thing up with all these things that we have here. So stay tuned for that. And um, yeah, let's jump right into it. So guys, we've been able to put everything together. Um, I know you saw in the setup when we were putting everything together, we initially started with red on red, but we changed it and went with purple because the red was really competing with hair. And I feel like this purple just makes her stand out a little bit more. It's a little bit subtle. I feel like the colors just work well together. So let me just go over everything happening in the scene. I'll start off with my first light, which is my Flashpoint 600. And that is being modified in a 36 inch octa. I have angled it into the corner of the studio space, um, just bouncing into this white wall and giving us like a very big wash of light in the scene. And the reason why I'm doing that is because I don't want us to have any like tell sign of where the light is coming from in the scene. I don't want it to look strobed. And so by doing this, filling the scene with this wash of light, it just helps us create a very soft light that you can't tell where the light is coming from. I also have two more lights, but my second one is the Flashpoint 400. And I have a strip on there modifying this light because I want that light to be very focused and then like just casting a straight line from the top down. Its job is just to light up the top of her hair, maybe her shoulder a little bit downwards, and even this drapery that we have down here, just to pick up the textures in there and then give the scene more, uh, yeah, texture, that's the word. <laughs> I used it already, but yes, just to give it more texture and character, you know? And then we have our third light, which is modified with my 60 inch uh, modifier. And this job is essentially is to create like a window, a fake window. So we are blasting light through another Flashpoint 600, through there, through this DIY curtains. Actually, I have a scrim, um, a six by six scrim in front of the 60 inch octa. And the reason why I did that is because if I didn't have this, you will see the floor, you will see the stand, you will see all those things. So this is just supposed to reduce the lights just a tiny bit, but primarily it's just supposed to give us like a bigger uh, backdrop to work off. So you can tell all these things in the background. So that pretty much is what's going on. Um, what we have here, I'm sure you saw it, we just have some wooden planks <laughs> under underneath this. 
right here. And oh, I also have my flash bag. <laughs> We're just moving things around. I have like these coffee tables. I it wasn't intentional. <laughs> but I have these coffee tables I put together. I did this plant just to bring it to life. And gave her a cup. There's something in there. It's not the purple one that Lil Wayne sips by the way. <laughs> <laughs> we also have some other crop tops that we will play with just to see what works, what, what we're doing. Basically just having fun, experimenting, and um, I hope you guys enjoyed the journey. And if you do, let me know in the comments down below. I know it's been over six months since Eleanor showed up on the channel. And you guys were not complaining that you're not been seeing Eleanor. <laughs> Shooting with the R5, Sigma 85, or 2470, and um, tethering to my laptop. All right, so currently I want to test the lights and just get like a good exposure. Um, currently in my settings, I'm at one over 160 on the shutter speed F2.8, ISO 100. All right, let's just take it. So just keep this pose for all the three shots or four shots, all right. Okay, so she's underexposed. Um, some of the lights did flash because all of them are set to the lowest power, which is one over 256. The next thing I'll do is just go up on my ISO. I feel like just opening it and including a bit of our LED lights might just help with the scene before I introduce my flashes. So yeah, now you can see we've lifted the shadows just a little bit, but still the lighting isn't looking really good. I'm gonna start off with my group C light. And for that one, I just want to increase it from 256 to 128. Point seven. I'll take a test. And I can see that our backlight has gotten a little bit stronger, giving us the illusion of a brighter window, okay? I'll go to group B and I'll increase that, which is our uh, strip light on the top. Let me just go all the way to 16 because I want that light to be very strong. I'll take another test. Like that. Great. Now you can see what the top light is also doing. You can see how it's made the shadows more pronounced because it's a top down shot. Now we just need to introduce our main light, which is group A. And I'm going to take that to 16 as well. Actually, if I'm going to take my main light to 16, then I think I'll just go down on the B light a little bit so it's not competing with um, the main light. So let me just take that to 32. And I think we should have a, like, a very good balance of all these lights going on. All right, so it's three, two, one. Take another test. Awesome. Keep it. Yeah, that's nice. Let me get even tighter and let's just see what we can do with this as well. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Perfect, perfect. Ooh. Kill it, Eleanor. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's, that's, that's perfect. Take a trip on it. When I go, you can go slow. Wind it up on my vibes. Vibes. <laughs> we just changed her top, like I said. We're giving her like a different. This is not a crop top, is it? It's not. It's it's a lace, some, some, some. <laughs> She's just wearing some, some different. <laughs> and we're just gonna freestyle this. So whatever you feel like is going to be suitable for this setup, you can just do it. It's like you're, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it, perfect. Keep that on. And you've moved. Okay, no, it's fine, actually. That heap over there. Yeah, that's it. Give us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Yeah, like, I mean, yeah, you just keep moving and, and like up, aha, yeah, something like that. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's nice. Ooh, no, 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 so don't go all the, no, no, you, you were, yeah, right there. And chin up a little bit, yeah. That hand on the, I don't know where else you can put it. 